Jeff Snyder here representing The Rap. I felt honored, honored when Christian Harloff asked me to do the Schmodown, okay? And then he told me I was going to face El Mayimbe, and I felt a little disrespected. Like, this is the challenge that you guys are making me drive to fucking Burbank for? Jeff Snyder gets a scoop handed to him by publicists. I call those uh, food stamp scoops or welfare scoops, okay? While the alphas of the jungle in the Serengeti go out there, rob and steal and claw their way and take the scoops not given to them. El Mayimbe couldn't break a window, okay? This guy's been riding my jock for years. I hope he likes the leftovers that I'm gonna give him. We're going to dominate him. Now listen, he's bigger, he's faster, he's stronger. In a physical fight, I'm toast, okay? But my parents didn't spend $200,000 to send me to NYU film school so that I could lose in a movie trivia contest to El Mayimbe. Remember a few years ago when Bane broke Batman's back? You're gonna see something similar today. I'm gonna steal every question that he gets wrong. I'm basically gonna embarrass this kid, and I feel terrible because he's a good guy, he's always been good to me, but you know, I'm a competitive person, clearly, and I'm about to break him like a scoop. What's good, Fanboy Nation? What's poppin'? Jeff Snyder's head, that's what's gonna pop. You're a blogger, I'm a reporter, and the next headline that's coming through is Snyder defeats Gonzalez. Take it to the bank, game over for you, son. Welcome back to another episode of the movie trivia showdown. I'm Christian Harloff, joined by the colorful, once again, the wild man, Josh McCuga. Christian, great to be back here. Big day here on the movie trivia showdown. We got some heavy hitters. We got some heavy hitters who are virtually unknown in the yep. world of the showdown, but not in the world of the scoop. What does that mean? These guys have been breaking some of those big scoops that you read about. One from the illustrious trades. The other one is one of the best bloggers that is is out there right now and they are both smack talking each other for from week to week leading up to this thing i mean we know they can write we know they can find scoops but are they good in movie trivia we're gonna do they have what it takes we're gonna find that out today because they both want to be part of the league yeah. little known fact they were actually going to be a team in the 2015 oh. movie trivia contest and they were supposed to play myself and mark didn't work out that way but now they are competitors going ahead to head this is boston versus new york this is trade versus blog I'm this ready is to captain see. america civil war right this here is civil war friend. we're gonna see what's gonna happen we're also gonna see which one of these guys is going to play into the top 10. and the funny thing is jeff snyder his ex -ho co-host from meet the movie press mark riley the reigning champion and listen, if Jeff Snyder, by some whim of God, is able to go 4-0 and and get himself up in that number two contender position, and Riley still has the belt, oh, we could see the end of a show. Who knows? But that's not why we're here today. We're here to see what Snyder can do against his opponent. Are you ready, McCoo? Oh, I'm chomping at the bit. All right, then let's get started. Let's get busy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the movie. Trivia Schmodown. Introducing first, he is proclaimed by Grantland as the king of the superhero movie scoops. Ladies and gentlemen, making his debut in the movie Trivia Schmodown. Ladies and gentlemen, Elmimbe Umberto God, he's wow. a physical specimen, Look Christian. He is a, a physical specimen. Beast. All black. He's the Johnny Cash of superhero news. Look at him. Just unbelievably stunning. He's ready to go. Look, he liked that compliment. He liked that. So he's sitting Dude, down. Johnny Cash. <laughs> His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, no stranger to talking some smack, answering some questions, getting to the bottom of it. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a film reporter at The Rap. He is the co-host of Meet the Movie Press. He is the Insnider, Jeff Snyder. Wow. Look at that dance. I 
like an I, old school. Oh. And he goes in. Oh, rips look at the that. I like off. it. Yeah. Little, he's, he's feeling look it. it. He's oh. ready to go. Wow. I like the energy. A little wilt. Oh, it's shaking. Oh, it's oh, this. Burn. I thought it was going to be nice. Burn. You didn't expect him to do that. Nah, that's, you know what? I that's like that's classic Boston right there. They're always dissing the New Yorkers back and forth. There's bad blood here. There's Christian. bad blood. Jeff Snyder talking a lot of smack. Ooh, terrible up blood. Bad doesn't even begin to describe it, boys. I love it. All right. So I like that little Willie Pep stuff we did at the beginning there. Yeah. All right, so for you guys out there, here is how round one will work. The competitors will get six questions worth one point apiece. Six predetermined categories they cannot steal from one another. Jeff Snyder, you are the favorite going into this match. Would you like to go first or second? We're going to kick. You're going to kick. Okay, oh, so oh, okay. El Mayambe, <laughs> you will be going first. Please pick from category one or category two. Category category two, please. Category two, Josh Makuga, you will be asking Umberto the first series of questions. Okay, sir, in comic book movies, in which movie will you find Mr. Furious, Spleen, and Captain Amazing? Um... Can I get the multiple choice on that's this? Not no, for that's round, round, that's two. round two. Round two. Uh, Five, was it that movie that starts four, Ben Stiller all those years ago? Three, two. two. We need a name. One. one. I forgot. <laughs> Correct answer is Mystery oh, Men. I can't steal? No. Not in round, no, one. Not in round, not one. round one. In drama, who directed The Horse Whisperer? Oh, come on. Robert Redford. Ooh, I correct. like the confidence. Oh, look at that. I like the confidence. Hey, Imbe. Okay, and finally, your third question here. In Oscar movies, making her feature film debut, Julie Andrews won an Oscar for what film? Oh, God. Uh, uh, the Sound of Music. I don't know. I forgot. That is incorrect. We were looking for Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. All right, Jeff Snyder, you are up in the category of comic book movies. What is the name of T.J. Miller's character in Deadpool? Weasel. Correct. That is correct. Wow, Jeff look at that. Snyder. I broke that casting. He was, he was, look at that. That's not fair. He broke that story. Did, is that true? <laughs> I yes. broke that wow. casting. Wow. That hey, counts. Is we don't, I listen, needed a second. The questions are the questions. We do not write the wow, questions based on that. He broke right. that the, story. Of course he's going to know the answer. In the category of drama. It's not how you know it. It's if you know it. Okay. The category of drama. Name one of the actors who played either the Falcon or the Snowman in The Falcon and the Snowman. Timothy Hutton. Wow, that two points for Snyder. Wow. Okay. All right. In the category of Oscar movies, how many times has Liam Neeson been nominated for an Oscar? Five, four, three, two. Two. Correct answer is once wow, for Schindler's say List. Once. All right. So we have there must have been another two to one going into, two the, to second one into the second set here in fantasy sci-fi you'll find the bad guy simon phoenix in which movie say it again i'm sorry that's okay uh in fantasy sci-fi you'll find bad guy simon phoenix in what movie demolition man Ooh. that is correct that <laughs> All is right. correct look at me I'm yes good. it's a good battle here here so we far. go here we go in 80s movies in the movie Flashdance, Alex Owens has two jobs to pay the bills. One of those jobs is an exotic dancer. The other job is doing what? Steel mill worker. Give him the point. Give him the point. All well right. done, El Mambi. Here we go. And last question. And finally, in comedy, in Office Space, what is flair? Oh, I don't watch Office Space. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> The answer? Is that your answer? You didn't watch uh, Office What Space. is foyer? That is incorrect. That is incorrect. It's the buttons that uh, Jennifer Aniston wears on her outfit at the mo at the uh, restaurant Tchotchkes. Oh All right, Jeff God, Snyder. I would have killed for those questions. Yes. Jeff Snyder, you are up now in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Blue Book is a software company with a mysterious head figure in what film? Ex Machina. Ooh, that is correct. That. All Snyder. Right. All right, Snyder literally is really showing up. This is a yeah. battle. 80s movies. What brand of candy bar did Chunk try to give Sloth in The Goonies? Can I steal? No. Ooh. 
I'm going to go Baby Ruth. Whoa, that, is that, is that is correct. That is correct. I saw him working up I there. I saw it. The, uh... Families in the candy business. <laughs> All right. In the category of comedy, what celebrity do Harold and Kumar pick up in Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle? Neil Patrick Harris. Jeff Snyder that getting cocky. Correct. Wow. Getting cocky. Getting cocky. Okay, Christian, after the first round, what's our score? Five to three. Look at that. Jeff Snyder is in the lead going into the second round. Okay, second round. Here's how it works. The competitors now will spin the Wheel of 14 brought out by the lovely Sasha Pro Raver. And... Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay, so here are the rules. They will spin that category. Each question will be worth two points apiece. You can opt for multiple choice, which will devalue the point. The, the question now to one point. You can steal from your opponent in this round. Jeff Snyder, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or defer? I'm going to go second again. It's uh, good luck. All right. So, Elmi Aimbit, please spin there's the spin. Now remember, if you don't like the category, you may spin again, but you have to keep that category. And you get romance. 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 He does look like a romantic guy. He does. He's a Latin lover. He's he like does. Romeo in Tin Cup. What's he doing? <laughs> is he going to stick with it, or is he going to spin again? He looks like he's spinning again. Uh, oh, spinning again. Oh, there he goes. He's spinning he it goes. again. A big spin. I like it. An aggressive spin. He is the pride of New York. There it goes. And I he see. lands on Scorsese films. Scorsese I think that's Scorsese good. Movies. That was a he's good one. I think he's happy about that. Confident. He is feeling it. Christian, are you going to ask him? I will be lady? asking him. Here we go. Okay. So, remember, you can opt for multiple choice. The questions without multiple choice are two points. Jeff Snyder, you can steal. All right. In Martin Scorsese's 1995 film Casino, which casino is run by Sam Rothstein? The Palm. Is incorrect, <laughs> Jeff Snyder? The Tangiers. Correct. Tangiers. Jeff two Snyder. points. That's two points. All right. Snyder. Now, we'll also remember that you have to have at least nine points to make it into the third round. If you don't, by the end of this round, you will be technically knocked out. All right. Question two. What Martin Scorsese film was shot in all black and white? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> multiple choice. Oh, yeah, uh, multiple choice. You, you, you missed the time. You missed the time period on that. Jeff? I'm going to go with Alice doesn't live here anymore. Incorrect. <laughs> the answer is Raging Bull. Raging Bull. Oh, I didn't oh, even nice. think about that. Too. I was Miami not going for multi fire. Yeah, Miami not should. going for multiple <laughs> choice twice there. Yes. Uh, all right. Here we go, Umberto. <laughs> Which of Scorsese's films garnered massive controversy when it was released in 1988? The Passion of the Christ. The last <laughs> incorrect. I mean, the, excuse me, excuse uh, me, the you, last you, temptation you, you, of Christ. You, you answer I, Passion of the Christ? I have the last temptation of Christ. That is correct. He gets two more. You have to be very careful with how you answer yeah, here. Attention think, to detail. Think, you have one more question here in round two, Umberto. All right. Umberto. Which Martin Scorsese movie was the first to star Leonardo DiCaprio? The Aviator. That is incorrect. Kings of New York? That is correct. That is correct. It is now 11 to 3. Now. This is where it gets interesting. It gets very interesting. Because <laughs> the only way for El Mayimbe to avoid a knockout is to steal from Jeff Snyder. El Mayimbe, you or have... Or if Snyder misses all of his questions. Correct, correct. Oh, all right. No Star, Star Wars, no Star Wars, no Star Wars! Uh, bigger spin, bigger, bigger spin. spin. Use, those, spin? Yeah. Use those Boston yeah, muscles. Come on, Tom Brady. Nice. All right. It was a lefty there spin. We'll, we'll it was take a lefty that spin. spin. We'll take that spin. Here we go. It lands on... What is it? Coming of age. Coming of age. Do and you stay? I love coming, so let's do it. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. It, Jeff Snyder is 11, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Coming of age. Here we go. All right. Makuga. Here we go. All right. In coming of age, where do all of the students hang out in American graffiti? Wait. Mel's Diner. No, wait. You, you can't, you can't no. answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I was going to say... Diner, but Mel's Diner. That is correct. 
It is I gave now. It, to him. it is now thirteen say, to diner. three. A, a diner. Right now, at, as of right now, where Miyambe is in desperate need of getting dire get wrong, straits. Yes. For get Money for nothing, that chicks are free. Diner. Dire straits. Here we go. Jeff Snyder in Perks of Being a Wallflower. What David Bowie song are the main characters listening to when they drive through the tunnel? Heroes. That is correct. 15 to 3. According to the epilogue, in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which celebrity does Spicoli save from drowning? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. You have Farrah Fawcett. You have Brooke Shields. Jennifer Beals, Olivia Newton-John. Can you repeat them once more? Farrah Fawcett, Brooke Shields, Jennifer Beals, Olivia Newton-John. Farrah Fawcett? That's incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> I'll name before the steal. Brooke Shields. That is correct. Team he gets four. a point. Good one. Finally. Uh, this, is, this is, here is how this has to work right now. El Mayambe needs to steal the two points or it's a knockout. Correct. Oh, man. There you go. Finally. What is the name of the main character, the boy, in the coming of age epic, Boyhood? Multiple choice. Okay. By doing and there, that. And there, and there you go. And by doing that, it's Jeff over. Snyder has knocked out. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, give, Mo give multiple choice. I'll okay. get it on multiple choice anyways, but go ahead. LR, Elijah, Mason, Ricky. The character's name? Yes. It's Mason. Mason. Ladies and gentlemen. The winner by knockout. Ding, 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 he ding. is the Insnyder Jeff <laughs> Snyder. Wow, it was predicted. It, I, but I have to be honest, Gonzalez knocked himself out. Yeah, oh. he, it was a little cheap. I agree. There was, there was a couple of times to it. He's going to be able to talk to Sasha Pro Raver in just a second. The two of them will have that interview. I just there were a couple of times he didn't go for the multiple yeah. choice. He blurted out a few answers. I just think that the, the lights got to him. I don't think this is the last we'll see of, of no, Gonzalez. Very smart guy. Obviously knows his stuff. He knew it. Some of the categories didn't fall his way. The Scorsese movies may have just he just didn't know those ones. I will say this game is a lot about knowledge, but even more about strategy. Yep. Think about multiple choice. Think about when you can you this game. If you guys are a competitor out there, you want to compete in this showdown. Think about strategy. All right. Now I want to hear exactly from both of them. Let's go to Sasha Pearl Raver, who is standing by with both Jeff Snyder and Humberto Gonzalez. Thank you, gentlemen. I am here with your winner, Jeff, the in Snyder. Jeff, how does it feel to be victorious? Feels fantastic. I've been training my whole life for this, and I just like to thank God. Oh, well, obviously. It really seemed like you never had a moment of doubt in that match, did you? There actually was some moments of doubt. You know, I don't know if I won this match so much as Umberto lost it. He got a little excited. Uh, you know, it takes it takes some discipline, this game. But uh, you know, I, I, I was fortunate enough to not have to go into the third round because then anything could have happened. Nice. A little smack talk and then a little bit of humility. It's yeah. a good combo. It's a poo-poo so. platter. So now you know you could have the opportunity to face off against your former co-host, your man in arms, your friend, Mark Riley, the champion. When they told me that this kid was the champion of the Schmodown, it blew my mind because he doesn't even see movies. So you're saying this is an easy takedown. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. After all, he is the reigning champ. He's been to the playoffs, so to speak, and I'm, I'm a newbie. But, yeah, I'm not too worried about, about Mark Riley. We'll so see. how would that belt look on you? I'd look fantastic in belts of all shapes and sizes. So you're not concerned at all if you could take on anybody else in the Schmodown, who would you want to take on? Honestly, I want a piece of Christian Harloff. Don't we all? The big Daddy. That's right. Speaking of big daddies, we're going to talk to your, your opponent coming up right after this. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Umberto, what happened? Tell me, sir. I was too eager, you know, so it's like I'm all hyped and stuff to get the answer. So I, first of all, this was rigged for his favor. They gave him a story that he broke. That's cheating. That's like telling me, uh, that's like do, me doing the same thing, like picking questions out of stories that broke. So he had, this, I think it's rigged. And then I gave him an answer. You know? That is true. When you did give him that Mel's Diner, what were you feeling? I'm like, uh, it's a Spanish word called coño. I can't believe I did that. I hear you, man. Well, now you still have the opportunity to fight your way back up through the ranks. Who would you like to face off against next? I have something to say real quick, okay? It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. It's how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how the winning is done. I don't consider this a knockout. 
okay, to knock down. But I got right back up. That's right, because that's how winners come back. Absolutely. I'll be back. Who will you face off when you come back? Whoever's brave enough to step in the ring with me. Oh, you heard it here first. Back to you guys. All right, so how about that? Jeff Snyder knocks out Gonzalez. My Lord, who saw that coming? I did not. I'll tell you what, man. Jeff Snyder now propelled into the top 10. Yep. Who's he looking for next? Guy knows his stuff. I, I mean, if I if I were Jeff Snyder, I'd, I'd want somebody like a Scott Mance, maybe. We'll see. I mean, there's a lot of matches. Mance is uh, is going up against Dan Merle very yeah. soon. And how about you? You you have a match coming up with John Roca. I know. Me and the outlaw. I, listen, I know everybody thinks that Roca is a beast, but he he, he showed a little armor, a little chink in the armor yep, there. Yep. I'm, not, uh, I'm not scared of Roca. Big match for you, because yeah. if you win this, you're back and you're in the top 10 again. If you lose, you're going to... i got to sell my Car. <laughs> You're going to have to sell your car. All right, guys, that's it. That is our match here this week. Thanks for tuning in to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. We will have the top 10 rankings as they stand today up in just a little bit. We'll tweet them out from Collider. We'll tweet them out from Schmoes. Thanks for joining us. Join us again next week for another episode of the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.